Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3. Hearts of Stone with the early game gear. We're playing with the Warrior's Leather's Jacket and the Viper Swords from White Orchard. Also, we're playing on Death Marsh difficulty. We just did a mission for the herbalist here. And now we are on our way to go meet Shani at the Von Everett Crip. But on the way, I'd like to check out some of this area down here. And just to see if there's anything going on. And uh, that's what we're going to spend this episode doing. Checking out these roads and some of these buildings. And then next time we will go and meet Shani. So let's get Roach and head off in this direction and see what's going on in this part of the world. So I know there are some bandits down here because I ran by them last last episode. And they're very low level, so let's just take care of these guys. Gotta keep the roads clear of bandits. And they're dead. Do you guys have anything good? Fried meat. Fried meat is always delicious. Useless weapons, pelts. Um, yeah. All right, and I know up here there's some fallen knights. Knights who used to be in the Flaming Order of the Rose, or whatever they're called. The Order of the Flaming Rose. And now they are a bandit camp. Whoa. So, uh, yeah. I don't like these guys, so we should kill them. Start them off with some ouch with some bombing. I gotta admit it's not going that great. Uh, I've had my health pretty low, and now I'm. I took a swallow potion. I'm trying to regain my health, but uh, I uh, I'm dead. Okay. This time we're gonna do a much better job. It will be more dying on their part and less dying on my part. I will not go into battle and put myself in the middle of a bunch of people killing me. I will stay on the edges and wear them down with bombs and poisons and maybe some flames and pick them off one by one like a good witcher. Hi crossbow guy. You're gonna be the first person to die as soon as I get a chance to kill you. Meanwhile, why don't you all just suck on that poison for a little bit? Oh, crossbow guy is uh, getting another bolt out. There we go. Get, die. Die. Oh, he's poisoned. That's good. Screw you, crossbow guy. Oh, he's about halfway. And now my gear needs repair. Alright, I fixed my gear. So now let's see if we can take this crossbow dude out. And he's dead. All right, now we're going to have to pick off the rest of these ones. we got a pike guy and two guys with swords. All right, let's see if we can burn them a little. Get their health down. Yep, we can burn real good. All right, the poisoning and burning show is going really well over here. One of them just died. Still a couple left. One of them about halfway dead. All right, these guys are getting down in health. Hopefully we can kill them pretty soon. They're both poisoned. The guy with the pike might die. Yes, he does die without me actually having to kill him. This guy hasn't had much left. Maybe this poisoning right here will finish him off. It does, all right. Very good. That was better, I didn't die. Loot. Ooh, look at all this crap. We'll be selling their armor, that's for sure. Anything else going on with you guys? Fried meat. Always a always a good thing to eat. Um, what else? What do you got? Roasted chicken leg? Delicious. I think there's one more person around here. This should be for... Yes! Reconnaissance Commander's Notes. Pitched camp in the ruins of the Observation Towers, as M ordered. Hope we won't have to sit here long. Important. Bren lost 200 crowns to me at Gwent, but there's no coin on him. Need to take it out of his next share of the loot. 
boring as fuck. Been sitting here eight days now, and naught's happened. Besides that one grain caravan, which we raided, sending the merchants off running in only their unspeakables. Hope to high heavens they'll transfer us somewhere more interesting quick, because here every man jack of us is near about off his nut with boredom. Yeah, these guys are real douchebags. Alright, well apparently there's some kind of observation tower nearby. Let's make sure we get this whole area cleared first. I don't really see anything that looks like a tower necessarily on the map, but there are a lot of ruins around. So let's keep explore. Oh, hey, Roach. Let's keep exploring roads and uh, see what we can find. Oh, that looks like a tower. I would say that qualifies as a tower right up in front of me. Maybe that's the tower that they were talking about in the letter. Let's go check it out. Looks like there are things over here. I see some, uh, with my Witcher senses, I see some life forms. Yeah, that's definitely a tower. Or it looks like it used to be a tower. It's kind of uh, destroyed looking. And it's that structure right there ahead of us on the map. Run, Roach. There's a flag flying. Not sure what that means. Let's go up there a little bit closer and see what's Not going so fast, on. Roach. We'll just leave Roach here for the time being. Vic Watchtower. Hmm. There's definitely something here that's alive because I can see with my Witcher senses some life forms. Over here is just a cliff. So we need to go over hidden treasure and what's it? Oh, harpies. Lots of harpies. And corpses. And more harpies. I think this is the last one. And that's it. All right, let's uh, explore this area and see what this place was exactly. I saw a notice here on the door. Looking to purchase eggs. We'll buy harpy eggs for top coin. Important, please do not wash the eggs. Nicholas Vogel, Vic Watchtower. Hmm. All right, let's go in here and see what's going on. Oh, we have sparkles. Nicholas Vogel's laboratory notebook. A key and then a bunch of other stuff. Let's check this book out. I've acquired the eggs. They cost a fortune and left me with barely enough funds to pay the rent for my laboratory. But now I can begin my work in earnest. I'll soon show those pea-brained admirals of ours that airborne armies are the future of warfare. And the first such army shall be my creation, and shall proudly bear the name of the Redanian Air Force. They've hatched. Never seen harpies so tiny and, dare I say it, cute. They have no bosoms yet, but, do th but, but they do have enormous heads and equally enormous appetites. Bird-like, through and through. My first attempts at taming them have brought promising results. The young harpies eat out of our hands and sometimes eat our hands as well. My assistants already lost two fingers. The elderman of Hedel came skittering into our tower, desperately bawling about spiders plaguing the village. Begging for our help, weeping for their picked upon livestock and offspring who suffer the most from the arachnid's bites. Humph. One swarm of mindless eating machines preying on another. How dare he interrupt my work on the Wonder Waff for such banalities. Instead of arachnocide, he requested, I gave him a bottle of arachnomorph pheromones. Won't he be in for surprise? But do the peasants not say, spiders and snakes, a happy home make? I'm sure I've heard them say something of the sort. Our funds are nearly exhausted. I shall be forced to take something from the rainy day stash I hid from Hubert in the top floor of the tower. 
The bulk of our outflow goes towards the purchase of pork, which the harpies devour in gargantuan quantities. Perhaps if we were to dress one up in a Redanian armor now and present it at court, the king himself would become our patron, maybe? No, no, no! The entire squadron must be present, else Radovid will deem the whole undertaking a farce. It seems our harpies have grown tired of pork. I found the scraps of Hubert's overalls in one of the cages. No great loss. Hubert had already lost eight fingers feeding them. Couldn't even grip a gr broom. Catastrophe has struck. Someone opened all the cages and let out the harpies. I'm sure I'll find them wheezing their last in the grass outside the tower. After all, no one has fed them for two days. The Royal Air Force. Yeah, I don't think uh, they need to be, needed to be fed pork anymore. They were interested in, in human meat. And it looks like they had their fill from all the dead bodies down here. I seem to remember when I think when I was fighting a golem at a guarded treasure Dead. over near where the Rose uh, Rose on the Red Field mission was. I seem to remember a golem and a dead person there and on that dead person there was notes about a tower and the guy who reactivated the golem was looking for something at the tower. And he said he went to it, and there was a crazy person raising harpies. So I bet this is that place. What do you got? Ron Drump's account book. Man named Nicholas Vogel showed up at our office. Introduced himself as a biologist. Fellow made a bad impression on me from the start. Short, thin, with a hunched back. Spectacles thick as wine bottles pursed on his nose. Had to grin and bear it, though, for he was willing to pay generously, and in my species, to rent the tower. First three months delivered in advance. The owner agreed, so what could I do? But I was curious about this biologist and wanted to learn what he wanted a whole tower for. He was cagey at first, then, they let, then he let it slip, giddy with excitement, that he planned to rear harpies. You don't rear harpies, I cried, but he retorted that he'd soon change that and his tamed tower-bred harpies would prove their use in warfare. Sure, I can see it already. Winged vermin donning the Redanian red, flying off all in a row. I swear, if I've ever heard a bigger load of rubbish, my name isn't Ron Drump. Vogel's late with the rent. Paid the first three months up front and since, not a peep. He's going to force me to go off my arse and go hound him for it. At the tower now, and not a trace of harpy to be found. The learned gents here, though. Thing is, he's dead. Something vicious sliced open his gut and drags its innards all over the room. And that's not the worst part. In the workshop's back room, there's an open cellar filled with half-eaten human corpses. The stank of death, unbearably strong, fills the whole tower. Don't give a rat's arse anymore about the rentios. I'm getting the blazes out of here before something gets me too. Hmm, you know, Mr. Drump, I'm thinking you should have, instead of written that statement right here, you should have just left and then told us about it when you got home from the safety of your office because you didn't make it, I'm sorry to say. All right, let's look around and see what we can find. Some olives. Those are delicious. Some stuff in there. What else is going on? We got anything over here? We got this. Water, beer, the back door. Ooh, here's some stuff. Nice. What's going on out here, anyway? This is a uh, way up. Let me just make sure we got everything in this room, because there was another room over here. And it looks like it's blocked off. Okay. There is some stuff in here, though. Straps. Book. And how do I get this? I'm going to have to jump up on something to get this. Maybe up here? Can I get it now? There we go. Book and some water and some wine. And the rest of the room is destroyed. Alright, let's go around out here and climb up these broken steps. We'll just climb this way, I guess. Hmm. Alright, there's... That's the way down. And we go up this way. 
There's a harpy nest. Nothing in it. Except bones they can't interact with. Up here is nothing. Oh, I can get up there higher though. There's a ledge. Is that a fork tail? Hey, fork tail. What's going on in Forktailville? More harpy nests with dead bones. Dead bones, as opposed to the living bones. All right. Oh, we've got a chest up here. It's bathed in red. New moon trousers. Pyrog runestone. Ooh, some good stuff. Good, good stuff. What is a Pyrog runestone, I wonder? Let's see if we can find it. Goes wonderfully with the Tavarog runestone. Hmm. You, it's a, <laughs> so it's something to do with pierogies. That's odd. Well, I don't have the Tavarog runestone yet, so I'm not sure what the those two runestones do in there together. But hopefully I'll come across it at some point, or at least a diagram for it, like this one. We can make them both. So now I know there's a couple other places down here to check. There's this room, which is empty. Then over here, there was any, was there something? Hmm, I guess not. They did mention something about uh, a basement with dead bodies in it, but I guess it's that, uh, it's this right over there and the floor just collapsed. All right. All right, now I want to head over this little thing that looks like a village down here in the corner of the map. Let's go check that out and see what's going on down there. All right, we're getting pretty, pretty close, I think. I see some buildings. Abandoned site. Heddle, new marker. Heddle, that name sounds familiar. Oh, spiders. Many spiders. I hope those deer don't get hurt from the stupid spiders. Well, we know what we got to do with spiders. we got to do them one by one and get them up against a wall, and then we can just go to town on them. So let's see if we can do one at a time here. There, I, there's at least three of them. He can't hit me over the fence. Let's see if we can get him alone. Yes, we can. Now let's see if, yes, there's a hole in the fence. Very good. All right, spider. Why don't you come over to where I am and I'll start hitting you. Does that sound like fun? Ooh, let's get him. Oh, oh, watch out. No, up against the wall. There we go. Now he's toast. Alright, he's dead. Now let's do the rest of them the same way. Alright, I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. Here they come, back to the village. Don't worry guys, the spiders are all dead. You have to clean up them cobwebs though on your own. I think this is the village where uh, that jerk at the tower I was just at said he's... Ooh, I got a level. That jerk at the tower I was just at said he sent some spider pheromones here to attract other spiders. And uh, it looks like it killed everyone. That guy was a real ass. I'm glad the harpies killed him. Let's check this village all around. Oops, excuse me, pardon me. Oops, excuse me. Pardon me. Yep, excuse me. Par yep, thank you. Oh, arachnoid substance. Arachnodial substance. What is that? Arachnodial substance. Read for additional information. Condensed arachnomorph sex pheromone. Substance will cause irritation to the eyes and skin. If swallowed, immediately seek the care of your nearest leech. 
Do not use in enclosed spaces. Use half a quart of, of concentrate will effectively spread over two fifes of land and can lure in between four and five male arachnomorphs. So this was the shit that that guy, the, the guy at the tower gave to the people when they asked for his help. They were having a spider problem. He gave them something that would attract even more spiders because he's a jerk. And now everyone's dead because of him. And he's dead too. All right, there's a little area just to the right of here I want to go check out. I meditated for the night and dropped the save. So let's go over here. And uh, it's right up that hill over there. I think there's... And dragons are more spiders, because I can hear some, like, insect noises coming from over here. Oh, great. I think it's, uh, Endrigas. Yes, yes it is. Big scary ones, not the little, the little cute ones. Big gigantic ones with huge shells on their back. Spitting, like, webs and poison. And they have also... Enormous, enormous spear hooks on their face. Ouch, ouch. I think uh, I should take my golden oriole. Because they're going to be poisoning me. And the golden oriole will allow me to heal myself. And I might as well also take a... Uh, take some decoctions. Mostly the one that, that uh, gives me some critical hits. Ouch. We've managed to attract the attention of another one over there, which is fun. This one's almost dead, though. Let's finish him off, then we'll go get the other one. Alright, that's it for that one. Ooh, look at all that good loot. Alright, this guy's almost dead. Now he's dead. Alright, looks like we got a cemetery up here. Oh, guarded treasure with ghouls. Awesome. Let's get us some necrophage oil. Hi, ghouls. How you doing? There's a few of them dead. And oh, there's some more. And it looks like an all ghoul. Ooh, I'm in a bad spot if they come over here. No, kill him, kill him, kill him. Alright, that one's dead. There's still like three or four more. Three, it looks like. Oh, watch out. Ouch. Try to soften him up a little bit with some fire. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, good. So they're all on fire now. That's good. Let's keep it that way. Stay on fire. Yep. Keep burning. Keep on burning. Okay, doing good. Burn. I'm all out of burnies. Can I poison them? I can poison them. Okay. Alright, this one's almost dead. Still two more down there. Oh, I need to repair my sword. Ow. Ooh, that all ghoul he healed all of his points back. Ouch. And now he just hit me for a lot of points. Damage. Bastard. Oh, I'm at the edge of the... Ooh, and now my hit points are gone. All right, this all ghoul's just about dead. I got a good poisoning him on him. Let's just finish him off, hopefully. Ugh, die, you stupid all ghoul. There we go. I have so many hit points. Let's see what's going on down here. We got some loot. And... Yeah... Something down here for sure. I can still see the symbol of guarded treasure. So there's still the 
treasure to be had, and maybe some more ghouls or whatnot. It's not there. Here's a staircase where I've burned them. This is nothing. It's a dead body, but you can't interact with it. Down the stairs, there's one of the ghouls that burned to death. And we have a door. Okay, so let's go through this door. This is probably where the guarded treasure is. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Look at all this stuff. Alright, let's get some light in here. Get all the loot. Nice. Shiny. Ooh, new moon gauntlets and a bunch of other rune stones and cool stuff. Nothing over there. What about over here? Anything? Okay, so we got the guarded treasure here at the cemetery. I'm still hearing bug sounds. It's probably more in Dregas. They're off in this direction up here. To the, just to the north is like a little house or something. Let's go check that out. See if we can find out what's going on there, if anything. Oh, there's a bug. Hi. Oh, ouch. Yeah, this guy's a real pain in the ass, but he's almost dead now. Oh, ouch. That jump attack. Ah, uh, there we go, he's dead. That jump attack he does poisons you when you, when you land, so you gotta make sure you have Golden Oriole going. Is that the last bug? I'm so sick of insects right now. Nope, there's at least one more over there. Ah, I'm just going to let him be for a minute. I would like to kill him, though. Just in case there's something over there. But I think I'm going to go check out this... Let's check out this hut. Looks like it's destroyed. Hmm, anything in... Oh, it's totally, it's totally wrecked. Alright, so I guess this this is nothing. Whoa, what's that? Is that a wraith? What the hell was that? Oh, hey, it's a uh a uh what you call it? A um Oh what are those things called? Not a fork tail. Not a basilisk. A yeah. Let's kill these bugs while I'm trying to think of this. That, that monster. Hi, bugs. Oh, it's the webby ones. Hate these guys. <laughs> oh, you guys. I hate you guys. What are they called? Chimera? No, not Chimera. Jackalope? No, not Jackalope. Um. Stegosaurus, maybe? Is that what they call them? Oh no, it's, I remember, it's called an arch griffin. Yeah, that's what they're called. Arch griffins. Okay, this one doesn't have much health left, but I'm not doing so good right now. Okay. Okay, that was close. Thank you for your drops and for poisoning me and for almost killing me. Alright, one more bug over here. This bastard. Oh, okay. You got webs too. That's good. <laughs> oh, and you get the squirting venom too. That's good. And then you get the. Oh, what are you gonna do to me now? All right, I don't know. I'm kind of sick of these bugs. Oh, there we go. That that that's nice. Oh no, I'm I'm out of here. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye, you can have your little hill. I don't care about it. Bye, see ya. Alright, well I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll continue working up towards where Shiny's waiting for us. And uh, explore some more of this area. Take it easy. Bye-bye.